Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to discussion of Physiology Paper 2 that is August 2024. How was the paper? According to students, it is moderate to difficult paper. And number of repeats were around 90% repeats from previous year papers as well as most expected questions. So let's discuss the paper briefly. I'm not going to discuss in detail about the main question and short essays. The main question, the one question is about synapse. Describe the properties of synapse. Add a note on postsynaptic potential. Metabolic actions of growth hormone and different types of dwarfism. So both are repeat question. So what we can see here, synapse repeat question from Feb 2024. The growth hormone is a repeat question from Feb 2021. Dwarfism also a repeat question in various papers. Then about the short essays. So out of eight short essays, seven are direct repeats. Excitation contraction coupling. That is a repeat question from June 2021. The homeostasis of body temperature. That is cold and heat. That is a repeat question asked in your May, Feb 2023 and 24. The crude touch is a new question. So it is the only one bouncer in your exam. Newlywed couple, the contraceptive method. Repeat question from May 2023. Middle year is a question from Feb 2022. Parathormone, Feb 2024. Basal ganglia, the Ferreira examiner. It is Feb 2022 and June 21. Referred pain and the pathway of pain. May 2022, November 2023. So, out of all this, so seven are direct repeats from most expected questions at the app. Now, the short answers. Again, most of the short answers, they are usually asked concepts. What we can see here, hypothalamus, testosterone, hyperthyroidism, accommodation in eye, steroid hormone, upper lower motor neuron palsy, gasser classification, action potential, Klinefelter syndrome, fever, all 10 were repeats from most expected questions. So let me discuss briefly about the answer. Role of hypothalamus in food intake. What is role of hypothalamus? You know, hypothalamus is a gatekeeper in the control of food intake and appetite. It receives the signal from periphery, especially GIT. And also there is a communication between hypothalamus, higher cortical center pertaining to food memory and rewarding aspects of the food. Lateral hypothalamus that is basically hunger center, medial hypothalamus basically satiety center. If you mention this, you will get two mark out of three. And also you need to mention arcuate nucleus. What is the role of arcuate nucleus? That expresses neuropeptide Y and AGRP. AGRP which stimulate the appetite. And POMC which suppresses appetite. So if you write this, you will get 3 out of 3. Then functions of testosterone. Testosterone has various function. The one very important function is male sex organ development, sperm production, prostate growth, erectile function, puberty, development and maintenance of secondary sexual characters, muscle mass, muscle strength in males, bone density, maintenance of facial closure, sex drive, sense of well-being, many many cns functions then the facial and the body hair collagen growth androgenic alopecia so all these are the effects of the testosterone if you mention any three with explanation you will get three out of three 
physiological basis of exophthalmos in hyperthyroidism hyperthyroidism because of the t3 t4 one common condition is graves disease graves disease there is a hypersecretion of t3 t4 and because of that there is a deposition of glycosaminoglycans in the eye so what happens in graves disease there is a deposition of glycosaminoglycans because of the active inflammatory process fibrosis of extraocular muscle fat accumulation within the orbit all this leads to exophthalmos exophthalmos again in exam exophthalmos you can see exophthalmos here because of deposition of the gag glycosaminoglycans and the fibrosis and also in exam you need to write these points in graves disease there can be hyperthyroidism because of hyperthyroidism inflammatory response initiated by activated t cells increased cytokines and glycosaminoglycan secretion by the fibroblast immune complex deposition in dermis that leads to pretibial myxedema immune complex deposition in the eye that can lead to proptosis diplopia and also the conjunctivitis so if you write these points you will get 3 out of 3 then changes during accommodation so the very simple question lens diameter decreases lens thickness increases what we can see here in accommodated eye there will be sphincter like action of circular muscle fibers of contraction contraction of ciliary muscle distance between the edges of ciliary body decreases relaxation of suspensory ligament lens become thicker focal length become shorter if you write this point you will get 3 out of 3 then explain the mechanism of action of steroid hormone so steroid hormone basically acts on nucleus as you know this it has a nuclear receptor so in exam you need to write this diagram you need to mention nucleus cytoplasm extracellular fluid and all right so lipid soluble hormone diffuses through the plasma membrane then it binds with the receptor in the cytoplasm forming receptor hormone complex this is the point number 2 point number 3 this complex enters the nucleus triggers the gene transcription so that means there is a more and more formation of mrna which mrna translated into proteins that alter cell activity if you mention this you will get 3 out of 3 so the receptor present is nuclear receptor right then erlanger gasser classification of nerve fibers this is again repeat question erlanger gasser classification a alpha basically for proprioceptor and the motor a beta pressure and touch a gamma muscle spindle a delta touch cold and fast pain b basically autonomic c they be, they are actually autonomic slow pain and also you can see the diameter diameter decreases so diameter decreases velocity also decreases because of the myelination you know myelin sheath basically for the velocity so this is a very important question erlanger gasser classification a alpha a beta a gamma a delta and b and c if you mention and the function and also diameter and also conductance velocity that is 70 to 120 in case of a alpha 30 to 70 in a beta a gamma 15 to 30 a delta 12 to 30 that is b receptor basically uh, b fibers basically 3 and 15 c fibers basically 0.5 to 2.3 explain the physiological basis of resting membrane potential in the nerve cell you know resting membrane potential because of the cell membrane which is negative from the inside positive from the outside normally it is minus 60 to minus 100 millivolt so this is because of the so uh, because of the entry of potassium and chloride ions and stoppage of the sodium ions okay diffusion the diffusion 
uh, of the potassium ions that leads to the resting membrane potential. Okay. Least three differences between upper motor neuron and lower motor neuron lesions. Again, from the standard textbook. So, upper motor neuron means cerebral hemisphere, cerebellum, brainstem, and spinal cord. Lower motor neuron means anti horn cell, nerve roots, peripheral nerves, neuromuscular junction, and the muscle. The muscle weakness is quadriplegia, hemiplegia, diplegia, paraplegia in case of upper motor neuron. Proximal distal neuropathy, proximal myopathy, distal neuropathy in lower motor neuron. Muscle tone spasticity in upper motor, hypotonia in case of lower motor, fasciculation absent, hyperreflexia, abnormal reflexes are absent in upper motor neuron. Cortical sensation can be intact, normal nerve conduction, decreased interference pattern and the firing rate. So this is about the upper motor. So, in lower motor neuron, fasciculation present, ear reflex here present, abdomen reflex is present, peripheral sensation basically they are lost. If you mention any three, you will get three out of three. What is Kleinfelter syndrome? So, as you know, Kleinfelter syndrome is XXY. So, because of the extra X chromosome, like X, X, Y syndrome, right? because of the extra X chromosome. So because of this extra X chromosome, so what are the clinical feature? Tall stature, tendency to lose chest hair, gynecomastia, one very important finding, osteoporosis, long arm and legs, poor beard growth or the hair growth, female pattern of deposition of the fat and the hair, female type of fibic hair pattern, testicular atrophy. So, testicular atrophy and they are at risk of cancer of the testes. So, all these are the features of Klinefelter syndrome. Then the last question, justify how infection can cause fever. So, when I talk about fever, that is interleukin 1. Interleukin 1, that leads to fever. But in exam, you need to write like this. Infections, toxins, Injury, inflammation. So, there will be release of interleukin 1, interleukin 2, IFN, and others. So, basically, they are secreted by these monocytes, neutrophils, lymphocytes, endothelium, glial cells, mesenchymal cells. Because of that, release of interleukin 1, tumor necrosis factor, which acts on the hypothalamic endothelium, which produces PGE2. So, PGE2, rise in cyclic EMP, which acts as a neurotransmitter, elevated set point. So, this is the answer you need to write. Elevated set point. So, activation of vasomotor center neurons, peripheral vasoconstriction and heat production. All this leads to fever. Okay. So, if you write this, you will get 3 out of 3. It is basically because of interleukin 1. Then is the MCQ. So, MCQ is relatively very easy. Normal sperm count in adult male is about normal. So, anything more than 15 million is normal. According to standard textbook, it is 100 million per ml. So, answer is C. Circumventricular organs include all the following except. So, what are circumventricular organs? Mnemonic is soap with a mnemonic. So, area prostrema, pineal gland or the postepitary, organum vasculosum of lamina terminalis, subfornicial organ. So, you can see here. So, according to this, it is answer is carpus triatum. So, all ABC, they are circumventricular organ. D is the answer. Resting tremor seen in, resting tremor seen in Parkinson disease. Because of involvement of the basal ganglia. So, A is the answer. Insulin facilitates glucose uptake in. Very simple concept. Skeletal muscle, adipose tissue. Answer is D. 
in 28 day menstrual cycle regression of corpus luteum occurs on so 10 day after the ovulation that means it is c is the answer 24th day peripheral now myelinated by schwann cells a is the best answer primary auditory cortex located in superior temporal garris of temporal lobe a is the answer a band in sarcomere because of the myosin basically and also the actin so d is the answer rem sleep characterized by all except large phasic potential reduction of tone in the muscle beta waves in eeg less towards morning hour so this is a homework for you find out the answer for the question number 22 4 and the last question highest concentration of cones is seen in your answer should be fovea so d is the answer and all of you write the answer of 22 4 in your chat box so the number of repeats in your paper is around more than 90% repeats more than 90% so what you can see here in this paper both the main questions are repeats synapse and growth hormone almost 7 out of 8 the repeats in short essays almost all 10 are repeats from previous year papers so the percentage of repeats 90 percentage thank you